You'll have to forgive Karen Lerman if she comes off a little over the top when describing her son's artwork. I'm done. I derive so much pleasure from looking at these drawings. I was shaking when I realized that there's this island of genius that I had no idea. It's not just that her 14-year-old from upstate New York is wowing professional art circles all over the world. The eyes are very expressive. How good is this kid? He's pushing all sorts of boundaries. It's not just that his drawings are commanding up to $2,000 a piece. Good morning. <laughs> it's that Jonathan Lerman has autism. He's bald. <laughs> a puzzling form of brain damage that severely limits his ability to communicate. Should we start speech? Yes. Yeah. Autistic children need to be taught pretty much everything. We see. We see it. Do you want to put it with see or touch? See. They don't learn from the environment the way normal kids do. We went from thinking that we had a, you know, a, a fairly significantly handicapped child to realizing that we had a gifted child. I want to do my sculpture. It wasn't until Jonathan started drawing in an after-school program when he was 10 that his parents realized the depth of his talent and his emotion. It's so incredible how moving it is. Um, the expression in the, in the face of the clown, the sadness that comes through, um, and the loneliness and the isolation he feels is all there. And he's letting us know through his drawings because he really can't verbally tell us that. So this is a bit of a window. Absolutely. It's a window into his world, basically. It's the, really the paradox of autism, this combination of deficit and great strength. San Francisco neurologist Dr. Bruce Miller has been studying these islands of brilliance within damaged brains like Jonathan's. I think these pictures uh, in children with autism come out almost like an instinct. This is something that's uh, firing in the brain and comes right out onto the paper. I think his brain is a beehive of visual activity. And I think it's telling us that his brain is very active and very functional. While he and other scientists still aren't sure how such remarkable talent can emerge, Dr. Miller has found some clues in another group of extraordinary and unlikely artists. And then we go in. People like 87-year-old Audrey Sear of Mandeville, Louisiana. I think it's perfect, Audrey. Four years ago, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. That's when her amazing ability was suddenly unleashed, talent she'd never shown before not once in her entire life, according to her daughter-in-law, Kathy. I'm real excited to have this. The neurologist suggested that we try different things um, that she had never done before to challenge parts of her brain that she hadn't used. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so I took her to a local art class and signed her up, and she started producing these incredible works, and we're like, how, how did you do this? Now you got a button it. Oh, this one? Mm-hmm. This one. When you see someone like um, Audrey Sear and you can see her painting, Ooh. Perfect. Perfect. you know that the, that dementia has unlocked something uh, and that uh, this uh, would never probably have occurred if it hadn't been for that degenerative disease. Is this sort of the way in which a blind man develops a better sense of smell? Yes. Oh, that's better. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's better. Ooh. And Dr. Miller has seen this kind of compensation in half a dozen of his patients suffering from dementia. This is a normal, healthy brain here. And this is a patient with dementia. This white here represents fluid. And uh, the fluid is there because the brain uh, has atrophied. It has uh, been lost. And this is the language area that has uh, uh, lost tissue. That's the left hemisphere of the brain the area damaged in both an autistic child like Jonathan and an Alzheimer's patient like Audrey. Mm -hmm. It's pork chop, isn't that good? It's called pork chop. Mm -hmm. Somehow, the damage on the left side actually strengthens the right side. Yet, this visual part of the brain, I think the right side of the brain, is suddenly expressing itself in a way that it never had before, and it's uh, expressing itself in pictures. Unfortunately for Audrey, this period of creativity will be short-lived, according to Dr. Miller. For unlike Jonathan... What's that?
the right side of Audrey's brain will eventually be ravaged as well. The precision uh, is lost, the details go away, and then the desire to paint altogether disappears. Now I can go this way? Yes. Oh, yeah. The light goes out. The light goes out. But until it's extinguished, this burst of brilliance is providing scientists with a better understanding of how our complex brains work. Mm, mm, mm. It's beautiful. <laughs> we don't know why this happens, but I think it does uh, suggest that uh, there are lots of talents that all of us have that are turned off. And uh, I think that it really shows the great potential of human beings. Are there fewer sad days now because of his artwork for you as a mom? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, because he is so happy when he's drawing. He has a way to communicate. This is good. Which was so frustrating for him.